Hi, this is Dr. Kathleen Hallinan, and we are continuing our weight loss vlog. This month has been a little difficult for everyone because it was the holidays. I guarantee that is what has been going on all month long, and that's why everyone's sugar is up, and their blood pressure is up, and their weight is up, because it was the holidays. So I'm going to go over some very basic strategies that will help you get through the holidays. And I put quotes around that because I can guarantee that the excuse of the holidays is going to continue to come up almost every month in some form or another because coming up is Valentine's Day and then it's going to be Easter and then there'll be graduations and I guarantee there are birthday parties in there somewhere. And over and over again, people will find this thing that tends to undermine their progress. So I'm going to go over with you some basic tricks and strategies to help you protect yourself in a sense from the it was the holidays uh, monster because that really undermines people so and I want you to look at this as a way of protecting yourself um, because that's kind of what you're doing and when we talk about ways to improve self-discipline a lot of people have a funny reaction to that because they think they're being criticized I think and also there's this perception that well if you don't have self-discipline then you're weak but I would encourage you to not get into that whole psychological mess because um, you're not going to be helped by it. I want you to start to look at this, these strategies for self-discipline as a way of nurturing your strength. You want to nurture the strength that you have inside. The race is only with you. You don't be comparing yourself with everybody else. You have to win with yourself and make yourself stronger every day and protect or insulate yourself from the, the I will call them the monsters, the, the monsters of the holidays, um, because they will just undermine your progress over and over and over again. I see it. So, so let's go over a couple. These are just basic, right? Three basic things because it's all mental. It's all mental. Self-discipline. First, set very clear goals. You must know your goals. Um, know how many calories a day you need to eat to lose a pound a week. If you don't know it, go to my fitness pal because uh, that app will calculate it for you or there are web sites that will do it for you or have your physician or your provider do it for you. So know your goals. If you're doing high protein, low carb, then you need to know how many grams of carbs and you need to have a way of measuring it. If you're old fashioned like I was after I had twins and had to lose my pregnancy weight, I just had an index card because that was before there were apps and I just count, just wrote it down, everything I ate and add it up at the end of the day. Actually add it up as you go so you know when you can when you have to stop. Um, now there are apps for that, but set clear goals and you, you must be able to measure them. Um, same thing with the exercise, even though exercise really doesn't, uh, it won't go a long way to making you lose the weight. It is very powerful in maintaining weight loss. So set very clear goals for your exercise as well three times a week or four times a week, is it 20 minutes at a time, and have little mantras in your head. So like when you get up in the morning, um, if you're waking up half an hour earlier to go to your workout and uh, you don't feel like you want to get out of bed, just tell yourself, am I going to feel any better in half an hour if I lay here for another half an hour? And if the answer is no, which it should be, then get up. So, I mean, these are like little mantras, but they're all, like, they're all mental. I have a little thing on my ID band, and it says, failure's not an option. So you just, you know, like, you can't fail. You must, you must go. You must have little mantras that strengthen you. And again, this is a sense of, like, self-strengthening. I would look at it that way. So that's your goal. Set your goals. The rewards are going to be the other bookend to this, but in the middle is the remove ten temptations part. Get rid of the things that make you fail. Eliminate the stuff at home. Get rid of anything that you have control of at work. Substitute the good, substitute things that will help you succeed, but remove temptation. I will not buy Ben and Jerry's. I guarantee you I will eat it if I buy it and it is in the house. So I will not buy it. The only time I will buy myself a thing of Ben and Jerry's is if I have run a half marathon. And if I have run a half marathon, I will buy myself a thing of Ben and Jerry's. And even then, I'll try to like spread it out. Um, but that's my weakness. So it's not in my house. 
but it's a reward. Um, now, certainly I'm not advocating food rewards, don't get me wrong, but um, you can have other rewards, and the rewards have to be, um, they can either be big or small, and at intervals that um, really are good carrots for you in a sense, no pun intended, but for you to succeed. So clear rewards for yourself, um, for big goals, for little goals, and um, so the the goals are at the beginning, the rewards kind of bring you across the finish line, get rid of the temptations in the middle, okay? These are the things that will help you get through the, the, um, the holiday or celebration or all these temptations, temptations to, to backslide um, because they will undermine you and you don't want that. You want to succeed and you want to be strong and resilient um, with yourself. So whenever you have a situation where it's going to put you in that awkward position where you think you're just, you're, you're going to go and it's going to be Thanksgiving and you're going to, you know, eat, but set very specific goals before you you go. I'm only going to have X portion of food and very small and keep it small. And if I, you know, need to, I'll drink two big glasses of water before I go so I'm not hungry. Have strategies, have goals, have rewards for yourself later. Okay, so um, I hope this has been a little bit helpful for you. Uh, and you guys are doing great. And again, thank you for your... Um, feedback and uh, you guys are keep up the good work and share this with anyone that you think could use it uh, with you know New Year's resolutions and all that because we'd like to keep helping people uh, succeed. All right thanks.